Hello everyone, welcome back to Web Development Solutions. Today in this video, we are going to see how you can solve this content security policy error within five minutes. Okay, and I'm going to explain you what content security policy is and how can you solve this error. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have an error saying that refuse to load the font because it violates the content security policy directive. Okay. This basically comes when you use the external links to load the fonts or any JavaScript libraries like uh, Chart.js or any jQuery kind of thing or anything else which is other than this URL, main URI of this app, okay? Uh, let's suppose, uh, as you can see here, I am getting this error because of I am loading the fonts from the Google Fonts, okay? Uh, this basically means that it is violating the content security policy, okay? Uh, with what let us see what content security policy is okay okay as you can see here i have highlighted a text uh, it basically says that it is used to restrict how resources such as javascript css or pretty many things that are browser loads okay it basically means that it is used to restrict the things with the browser loads okay you can use uh, for restricting the uh, any links to load it uh, in your web app okay uh, this basically restricts this uh, link uh, in my app to load in my app okay what it means is this not uh, this is not allowing me to load this link in our app, app okay to solve this error you just have to navigate a uh, little down okay uh, you can even secure your web app by using this you just have to add a meta type uh, specifying that which url that you can load in your web app okay you go a little down uh, and script src and style src okay let's see what's the error which you are got we are getting that the font src okay because of fonts we are getting this error and this is our link here if we add another line okay this one uh, let me explain this this is a meta tag having content security policy which basically says that the style src means uh, the style sheet can be either a self or it can load from this url or from this url okay uh, and this another one is font src this is for style sheet and as you can see here this is a style sheet okay fonts are loading from style sheet and another is font src if you have another external fonts that want to load in your web app uh, you can have this kind of thing font src self and the link which you have which you are loading from okay uh, it could be not only a one link okay you can have multiple links either uh, fonts or anything else okay if you want to load a javascript uh, kind of thing like a jquery you have to add script src see here it is uh, it is written here defines valid sources of Java, uh, javascript okay you just have to copy this and you just have to paste it here okay in this meta tag and here you have to replace this link with the link which you are loading javascript from okay this basically means that uh, javascript can be either a self or uh, the link which you have provided it can take it from there okay let us see if our error gets solved after adding this meta tag in our html document okay uh, this error basically comes when you are using uh, webpack and all uh, and you can even use it for html if you are getting the error view and angular and whatever you are using the content security policy is for all okay it's not uh, for single one okay and you are you in the react it is automatically handled and here in webpack it's not automatically handled so we have to add it manually okay let us see if yes. our error gets solved or not and if we refresh the page and okay these are some other errors okay it is loading as you can see here uh, this is a web, a web app okay uh, it's fully loaded here you can see there is no error from the content security policy this is the uh, just app which is not responsive at all okay uh, don't mind this and this is how you can solve this uh, if you are getting anything else like such as you may get uh, image src error and content src error you just have to add it here like you just have to compete and 
just have to add it at the end and specifying the link which you are loading from okay and this is how you can solve it this code will be pinned in the comment section and the link for this website will also be pinned in the comment section okay thank you all for watching this video and if you have any queries related to this or your error didn't got solved uh, let me know in the comment section uh, you will get a solution for that within 24 hours and if the video was helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you all